Let's uncover the secrets of CPU creation. It all starts with sand, but not just any sand, silicon-rich sand. This sand gets superheated and purified into large, shiny cylinders called ingots. Then, those ingots are sliced into ultra-thin wafers. Next up, a process called photolithography comes into play. It's like using a stencil to draw tiny circuits on the wafer with light. These circuits are essential as they form the pathways for electrical signals. After that, it's time for etching. Think of it like sculpting. Chemicals carve out the circuit patterns, creating precise pathways for electricity. And don't forget about doping. This step adds impurities to enhance the silicon's conductivity. Now these wafers go through layering. Multiple layers of different materials are added to create the complex structure of the CPU. It's like building a multi-layer cake, but way more high-tech. Finally, the wafer is sliced into individual chips, and each chip is tested rigorously. Only the best make the cut. These chips are then packaged and integrated into the devices we use every day. So the next time you boot up your computer, remember the incredible journey from sand to silicon,